Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is an interesting uh, report that uh, Malwarebytes has released. So Malwarebytes releases a annual uh, malware or threat report and that is to actually um, kind of give the state of, you know, year over year the different malwares and, um, you know, what... Uh, is the um, operating system that is the most affected and and you know the general changes over time and so um, of course the uh, interesting note so the malware uh, threat report was made with uh, malware and information they got from December the 1st to December the 31st of 2019 and of course, they've released it now to uh, give the state of uh, year over year. What does it look like? So the first thing that I think we can at least say is a good news. Uh, consumer grade malware is down 2%. So in consumers, in the consumer market in general, 2% uh, less infections year over year. So that's at least, and you know, it's it's a small uh, downturn, but it's better than an increase at least. Um, and of course, that is nice. The biggest um, increase is in the enterprise, and there's no surprise as there's a lot that can be done. You know, so much data can be stolen, so many things can happen. So it's not a big surprise that enterprise are actually uh, having an increase, 13% year over year, a uh, pretty big increase here. One of the interesting things um, is looking at the platforms. So on the Android and on the Windows side of things, it's um, kind of stable actually, but the infections they saw were more aggressive and much more difficult to actually not only detect, but also clean. So it gives you an idea that they are getting more and more sophisticated. Where the surprise is interesting, and now, well, of course, put that in perspective. The report says that year over year, there was a 400% um, increase of malware on Macs. Now, one of the things they do say is that part of that increase is that Malwarebytes has been actually getting a lot more Mac installs. So yes, that could actually kind of falsify a little bit the numbers, but not to that point of 400%. So what they say is that there's a huge increase in the malware that directed at Mac computers. And the fact that there's a detection in that increase means that there were a lot of Macs infected by malware, and uh, that was detected when they installed malware bytes. So it kind of tells everybody that the detection, the malware detection within the Mac operating system has a lot of flaws and lets a lot of the malware go through. So, you know, this is very interesting, and, you know, you start thinking. Maybe after all these years, a Mac computer maybe be good to have an antivirus on one. So it's really, really interesting to see all of this uh, change. And of course, lots of malware on mostly Android because iOS is a closed system. It can't get, you know, unless there's a security flaw, it doesn't really get infected by viruses or things like that because of the fact that the system's closed. Um, it's not that it's more secure. It's just the system's closed, so viruses cannot, you know, take a hold or install themselves in a, an iPhone and an iPad. But on Android, because it's an open system like Windows, well, there, of course, things can go bad. Um, another uh, interesting aspect of, for the Android users, most of the malware comes from apps that were sideloaded. That means... The majority of cases of people infected on a phone were from apps that they downloaded from the internet without wanting to pay for it, installed it or side-loaded, as they say, without the Google Play Store 
uh, probation and got infected by downloading that. So uh, lots of interesting info in here. And uh, overall, it does mean that you got to be careful and you got to be careful what you do. The report does state that the majority of cases of malware come from the fact that the user did something. You know, when I say you are the number one security, well, you're the number one security, yes, because the user can actually change all of that by changing its own behavior. So stay safe and be careful what you do online. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.